हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो ऑन द फाइनल ऑफ द यू एफ आर चैम्पियंस लीग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बोथ द साइड्स पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस सीजन फाइनल एंड वी विल लुक इन टू ईच एंड एवरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस ग्रैंड ओकेजन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट क्लब फुटबॉल कॉम्पिटिशन इन द वर्ल्ड So the final of this season's UEFA Champions League will be played in the city of Porto, Portugal. English football has once again displayed its dominance in European football by having two of its teams in the final of this prestigious league. Manchester City and Chelsea will be contesting this year's final. Remember 2 years ago it was Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur in the final of the UEFA Champions League in Madrid in 2019. Speaking of Manchester City and Chelsea, let us now look at their chances of winning this prestigious trophy. We have to start with Manchester City, the newly crowned Premier League champions. Pep Guardiola's side has now become serial winners. They have won the Premier League five times, and the latest just came a few days ago. And they are also the winners of the Carabao Cup, the League Cup in England. Now Manchester City are a strong strong team not only a strong playing 11 but they have a strong squad as well many times you have seen their bench strength and they are capable of fielding two separate strong sides this team has got goal scorers all over the pitch at times you have seen them play without a typical number 9 or a big center forward or a proper goal scorer but they've got goals coming from the wings from the midfield led by Kevin De Bruyne, Ilkay Gundogan, Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silva and that is why Gabriel Jesus has rarely been used this season while Sergio Aguero has had an injury hit campaign And the good news for Manchester City is Gabriel Jesus and Sergio Aguero are both available for this big final although Aguero will be playing his final game for the club. Another big improvement in Manchester City has been their defense. This season they have kept the most number of clean sheets in the Premier League and much of that has been down to the arrival of Ruben Dias and his partnership with the ever improving John Stones. So strong has been their partnership that they have even kept Amerik Laporte out of the side for most of the season whereas the new arrival Nathan Ake has also been left to watch from the bench we know how manchester city and pep guardiola's teams play they've continued to play that way but this year the defense has been their usp now manchester city have almost won everything that there is to be won they won the premier league five times they are the serial winners of the carabao cup or the league cup and they've already won the fa cup as well they won the community shield the only thing missing from their trophy cabinet the one they desperately want is the uefa champions league and this time they are one step away this is their first final of the UEFA Champions League it is surprising the team that is considered to be the best in the world is contesting its first final and they are absolutely desperate to win it yes they have already won the premier league this season but i can guarantee you i can assure you they are absolutely hungry for this title now let us look at the other shade of blue the other side of the field chelsea Now after the sacking of Frank Lampard Thomas Tuchel has definitely made a difference. Chelsea were already scoring goals before his arrival but Thomas Tuchel has shored them up at the back. There is more stability in the defense and in the midfield as well although their goal scoring has suffered lately but still they are getting the job done one way or the other. And the arrival of Thiago Silva has definitely added a voice of experience in the back line alongside Antonio Rudiger and Cesar Azpilicueta. In the midfield they are definitely strong and Golo Kanté holds the key in this final. If he is on form, if he wins the midfield battle, Chelsea will definitely cause Manchester City some trouble. Jorginho will also have to play a really good game. His passing was never in doubt but he has made a few errors in the recent games and this is what he has to avoid in the big final although we can definitely bet on his penalty scoring abilities if the match goes to the shootout now there is one similarity with manchester city chelsea have also at times this season played without a recognized number 9 they have used timo werner as a winger 
and often played Kai Havertz as the number nine. Much like Manchester City, Chelsea also have a midfield that is very capable of scoring goals. We've got people like Christian Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech, Mason Mount, Mateo Kovacic, and they've got the option of Olivier Giroud and Tammy Abraham from the bench. Although Chelsea's form has recently slumped a bit, it defeats to Arsenal and Aston Villa towards the back end of the Premier League, but the final of the UEFA Champions League will be an entirely different matter. And the biggest thing that goes in Chelsea's favour before this big final is they also beat Manchester City in the semi-final of the FA Cup at Wembley. So they've beaten Man City at a neutral venue already this season. So in a way, we can say that Chelsea have got Manchester City's number, especially under the reign of Thomas Tuchel. So this could be a huge factor going into the final of the UEFA Champions League that Chelsea know how to beat Man City because they've already done it this season. Whenever we talk about a big final and the probable winner of that final, one factor always needs to be considered is who wants it the most. Well, both of them would like to, both of them would love to win this trophy. Man City want this trophy more than anything else in this world. During all their success, UEFA Champions League trophy is the one that still they crave for, absolutely crave for. Another surprising fact, with all their talent, with all their victories, with all their trophies, this is their first ever attempt in the final of the UEFA Champions League. On the other hand, Chelsea, this is their first final since they last appeared in the final in 2012 and they won that year. So it has been a nine year wait for Chelsea to reach this stage. Thomas Tuchel couldn't do it with PSG and now he is attempting to win it with Chelsea. Things would have been more different had Chelsea not qualified for the UEFA Champions League through the Premier League. But despite their defeat on the final day, Leicester's collapse meant that Chelsea were able to make it in the top four and therefore they are already playing in the Champions League for the next season. But with an owner like Roman Abramovich, Chelsea must be under pressure to win a trophy because they've already missed out on the FA Cup as they lost to Leicester in the final at Wembley a few days ago. So they are also desperate to win a trophy. Their last trophy came in the form of the Europa League when they beat Arsenal in 2019. So both the teams are evenly matched, although Man City have an edge in terms of the squad strength. In terms of tactics, it will be a very keenly observed contest with Pep Guardiola and Thomas Tuchel. One thing you can be assured, it will be tactical. It might be a bit of a game of chess in the opening few minutes, but as the game will go on, it will definitely open up and it will definitely be exciting. The two teams in blue will definitely go at each other and it will be fun to watch. Both teams have got goal scorers all over the pitch and both teams are rich. Not only in terms of monetary resources but also in terms of the talent. So considering all the facts and facets, if we have to talk percentages, I will give Man City slight edge 55% to 45% of Chelsea. City have got everything but Chelsea have got their number that is why Chelsea will be dangerous in this final Man City watch out I hope you found this video worthwhile and it gave you some insight into the big final of the UEFA Champions League and I wish the very best of luck to the fans of Manchester City and Chelsea for this big final I would love to hear from you your views comments feedback and suggestions are extremely valuable do let us know what you think about this topic in the comments section below if you liked this video do share it do forward it to other football lovers in the community around you and if you're watching this video on youtube do subscribe to this channel for more such videos and if you are watching on facebook do like and follow our page for regular updates on matters concerning sports and current affairs We'll see you soon and thanks for watching.